lobster men and women breathing a sigh of relief tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Hannah Deneen. A federal court has ruled to temporarily stop the closure of a more than 950 square mile area in the Gulf of Maine to traditional lobstering. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse has more on what this means for Maine's lobstering community. A big win in court for Maine's lobstering community over the weekend. Just close to having my children born. It's that close. That's how good it feels. A federal judge issuing a temporary restraining order on the proposed seasonal closure of this more than 960 square mile area in the Gulf of Maine to traditional lobstering from October through January, which would have gone into effect Monday. And uh, it would greatly devastate their lobster industry uh, for the rest of the season because that's where they catch a majority of the lobsters at that time of the year. U.S. District Judge Lance Walker writing in his decision in part, without trivializing the precarity or significance of the right whale as a species, I find that the certain economic harms that would result from allowing this closure to go into effect outweigh the uncertain and unknown benefits of closing some of the richest fishing ground in Maine for three months based on a prediction that it might be a hot spot for right whale entanglement. They are aggregating now due to climate change and there is south of Nantucket and up north into Canada. So there's really um, no hard evidence to demonstrate that whales are aggregating in this area. Alfred Frawley, an attorney representing the Maine Lobstering Union, says there could be future challenges in court to this decision. He also says that the government has placed sound traps in the Gulf of Maine, hoping to better understand the pattern of endangered right whales off of our coast. Leaders in the Maine Lobstering Union now hoping that this ruling can help bring greater communication between lobstermen and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that put this closure forward. We definitely would like to see more open communication and we know that this is just the first step in a very long battle. But for now, those who make their money on the water are rejoicing. It's like a, a thousand pounds was lifted off of your chest. And this is just a really big win for us. Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. While a judge did order a stoppage to this temporary closure, the changes to things like gear markings and weak links issued by NOAA will still go into effect May of 2022. NOAA estimates there are fewer than 400 right whales left in the ocean. You can read much more about this change and how it impacts the lobster industry on our website and mobile app.